see. Christ, that was a fox. say that I've been naughty. Okay. I'll turn away. Matthew, what are you doing here, Matthew? I like to film bunkers. I've got a YouTube channel called The Secret Vault. Okay. Hello, this is Matthew Williams here bringing you a quick video to talk about some problems that go on behind the scenes which you're probably not aware of with this channel. Obviously, there's a lot what we do that pushes the line and, uh, you know, some people that um, obviously feel very protective over their you know assets and land and whatnot they get a bit uppity and they contact the police and uh, this is something that happened with a with a video we did uh, on Coles Hill bunker just a tiny little bunker and um, we sort of went in there filmed us filmed around and then we were accused of actually breaking in and uh, the police were called accusations were made the police has to had to investigate and I was offered to come in for a voluntary interview which involved me having to drive to Oxfordshire and go to a police station at my own expense and time and several months later then we are told that the uh, the case is being dropped and quite rightly so too and you know everything just goes <laughs> so yeah I mean, what a waste of time and money, my money, because people want to be petty. And um, yeah. So anyway, we've got another situation now and you're going to watch a video which I'm, I'm at pains. I didn't really want to put this video out, although you are probably going to want to watch this video exactly as it is unedited, which is you're going to get that. You're going to get that. <laughs> I didn't really want to do that. You know, there are some that believe that I'm quite cavalier, but to be perfectly honest, I I thought that maybe there was a way that we could do something about this video that I wouldn't have to release it in the unedited form because it embarrasses a school, a particular type of school. I'll let you find that out from watching the video. It's kind of funny and sad at the same time, but yeah, a particular type of school. Um, now this school has had a lot of problems in the past with the police being called because their security is shit and they're a school that doesn't want a lot of publicity and is very private and uh, but it has a bunker on the premises and the bunker is of great interest to a lot of people that live in the local area and know about the bunker and want to come and see it so guess what people do what I do a lot and they jump over the fences and they go and have a look and the security sometimes get to know about this and they come out but the security being complete crap they don't know how to deal with people on their property so they call the police and they get the police to deal with the problem and I met the police I met the police but um, uh, basically uh, the circumstances were I jumped over I was in there for an hour looking around nobody knew I was there and I got bored and in the end I thought well is there any security here is it is there so I started waving at the light sensors and turning on the lights and basically wandering around creating a load of noise and waving my arms about and just basically trying to be seen by the cameras that were there to see if there was any security on the site well, it turns out there was security on the site and they came up, as you'll see in the video, and it got very funny. Um, they got quite leery and I was not happy with what they were saying and I tried to offer them the opportunity to deal with it sensibly themselves and it became quite apparent we were dealing with low IQ retards that, you know, think it's uh, think it's much better to just call the police every time there's a problem. Call the police. Call the police. And do you know what the police told me? The police told me they're fed up of dealing with this place, this private school. They're fed up of it because they're always getting called out because the security don't know how to handle anything. So, there you go. 
that's just part of the embarrassment. We are, we are not going anywhere close to the real embarrassment you're going to watch in this video. But here we are. I've got a very awkward video and I'm thinking to myself, well, you know, okay, I've caused this situation, you know, I've, I've brought it on, I've brought the security out, they've brought the police out, now it's just this whole big embarrassing problem, isn't it, yeah? Um, and I've got this video which kind of makes the security at this school look like a joke and it makes the school look like a joke because the security is crap, so it means the school is kind of crap, isn't it, yeah? Um, and this is a school that is really, really over the top on wanting to be seen as hyper secure. And I've got a video which makes them look like a joke. So, um, do I put the video out or do I, you know, not put the video out? Well, I thought, well, I, I didn't come there to, to make a video about security and I came there to have a look at the bunkers, which I did. I had a look at the outside of the bunkers, but I really wanted to go in, probably like most people who go there. I wanted to go in and see them. So I thought, well, I will do something that I don't normally do here, and I will I will make an, a kind offer to the school involved, the school concerned. I will hold them out an olive branch. I will hold them an olive branch, and I will say, would you like to deal with this in a different way I have this video, I don't really want to stick it out in its current form because I think that's going to be bad for you. I think it's going to be really embarrassing for you. I think it's going to get media attention, which you don't want. I think that the trustees may look at this and think, what the hell is going on here? So it could have some very negative repercussions for your school. Maybe the parents will look at it and they'll think, this school is a joke and they'll remove their children from there because they think it's just a joke yeah now is there some way we can deal with this that benefits us both my suggestion is and i wrote to the headmistress of the school i said my suggestion is rather than release this video i think that the best solution would be that you allow me to come and see the bunker and i film the bunker from end to end in great detail, everything, every inch of the bunker. We put this video out there for everyone to see and then there is no longer a requirement for people to be getting in there because it's there, easily accessible for everyone to see the bunker from end to end. So therefore, less people like me will jump over your fences and trigger security in issues and we'll get the police getting their time wasted coming to deal with your problem, yeah, the bunker. So if I was to be able to do this and film it from end to end, it will have the beneficial effect of taking away people like me and others who will come, you know. Uh, if I release this video, people are gonna see it, they're gonna want to go in there more. It could create a situation where more people come and more there's more trouble than you've ever had before. Now, I don't want to see that happen. That is not what I would like to see happen. What I would like to see happen is we work together. You have allowed people in the vid in the bunker in the past. This is absolutely important here. They have allowed people in the bunker in the past. There are stories in the newspapers. Oh, we allowed people in the bunker and it's dark and smelly and yeah, it's horrible bunker, you know? And so they've allowed people in there, but they have not videoed and photographed it properly. So what does this do? The, 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 new, the newspapers are getting hold of stories that this bunker exists. The newspapers are telling everybody, Shh, there's a bunker there, but there's no photographs and there's no video. Hello? So have the school, by allowing that to happen and allowing those stories to go out, just created a massive rod for their back. Yeah, because now people like me and the rest of the world wants to see it. And if I release this video, which shows how crap the security is, everybody's going to want to go and see it. Yeah, so I'm offering, a, a, you know, a, a basically a package where I could go and film this bunker so that it would stop the excitement and interest and intrigue, you know, and then the school is going to benefit. Yeah, so I offer to do that free of charge help the school and then I said look I could also 
tone down my video yeah so it makes your security look good not stupid which is how they look at the moment yeah um, so if if you could kind of like see a way to kind of you know chatting with me about this maybe we can kind of come to an arrangement and I'll, I'll be quite happy to kind of diminish the negative impact of my video maybe even say hey your security is really really good and you know and they caught me and oh yeah oh god they caught me there's such good security at your school yeah which is going to give you a positive media impact yeah oh right no didn't hear anything from them so months went by i wrote to the uh the assistant secretary to the um the headmistress and said i still haven't heard anything and she had no response i rang her up and i said look i'm still waiting to hear you know i've got this video and i don't know what to do with it so you know i'd really like to hear oh yes i'll get the headmistress in touch with you oh great great and you know what they did have a guess have you guessed yet nine 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 hello please hello i i'm i'm the headmistress at this school and 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 we are being blackmailed yeah seriously we're being blackmailed yeah 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 we're being blackmailed so guess what i am now contacted by the police yet again and now I have to come in for a voluntary, voluntary thing again, which means I've got to go to London for a voluntary interview with the police. No, not going to happen. Not wasting my time. Been there, done that, got the T-shirt. So I said respectfully to the police, sorry, been down this road before. Pay my, pay my petrol and expenses to get to you and I will give you my time no expenses for me to get up to you all the way to london right i ain't wasting my time come and arrest me you want to speak to me come and arrest me and i said as far as the video goes now i tried hard i tried hard and this is what you get this is what you get when you try to help people yeah i didn't want this to go out in this embarrassing form i tried now it goes out as is so thanks very much for listening i'm really sorry the police don't want to be picking people like me up all the time. Your security is crap, yeah? They're going to see what your security is like on this video. I was running rings around them for an hour. They didn't know I was there until I started waving up the cameras and saying, come and get me, yeah? And even then it took them nine minutes to, to get to get to where I was. I mean, you know, this, this school has got crap security and I'm really sorry that it's going to make a joke out of you now and I hope you don't have lots of people coming there which I did try to avoid. I told you we could deal with this, but yeah. But no, it's not blackmail. It's called trying to help you. And it's quite clear that maybe your IQ level is not enough to absorb this, yeah? But when somebody's trying to help you, maybe you should work with them. So really sorry, but I hope my viewers enjoy the video. And if the police want to, um, you know, elucidate anything about my uh, motives for doing it and whether or not this is blackmail. Hey, you can watch this video because I'm not coming up to the police. You can come down and you can spend your money and time to come and arrest me. And then I'm going to go all the way up to your station in London and I'm going to go, no comment, no comment, no comment. So, yeah, that's the way we're going to deal with this because I'm fed up of, I'm fed up of this crap with people who just don't understand when they're trying to be helped. So thanks very much for watching. We'll do an introduction. We'll, we'll, we'll introduce ourselves. Right, so. Here we are doing our owl watch in High Wycombe. We're checking out the owls and the foxes in town, so we're going to be very quiet and discreet because it's quite late at night. What's the time now? About one o'clock? I think it's about one o'clock. Yeah. 
but we're going to be very discreet and we're going to try right past one. we're going to go around the forest areas and we're you're going to see doing the video and I'm Mr. Sandman yes we, we, I'm doing video and he's doing sound I swear so. this is grown by that yeah. side I okay. but anyway enough of us let's go and see the owls alright that'll do so we recorded a little intro Go down here. Is this, this locked or something? Oh, this wasn't locked the other day when I came here. I wonder where that is. Well, it doesn't seem to be uh, padlocked. Looks like it's locked twice. No, it's, it's not padlocked, it's just um, slide locked. So if you hold on to my camera for me. I don't think we're going to be disturbing anybody going down here. So let's just uh, quietly let ourselves in. Disturb the others. So let's um, just have a little look down here. What have we got? Can you hear them out that way? Because once once we get down here, we'll be able to head off into the forest over that way. Okay. So there's the big forest and a field here, so we'll be able to get through here. But you can hear them. So start recording, start recording the audio now. Okay. Yeah. Of course, this is all bollocks, because we're not really doing that, but this is what we've got to say for the people that are listening. Right. Okay. Okay, it's too bright for this, I'm going to step it down a bit. around it's amazing You'd never believe that this was actually midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and I can see the horizon, no problem with this, this lovely camera here. It can see in the dark, like my eyes cannot. That, I've stepped it down two stops there, right, and it can still see in the dark quite well. But we get a lot of light from this, yeah. But it's genius cameras, these are absolutely genius cameras. We're going to get some good owl footage tonight.
this up now, because it's getting a bit dark. There we are. So, now we're getting into the dark bits. is broken as it was the other day. If you get through into this area. Yeah. Let me just check my focus. Just check my focus. Okay. Fully open. Okay. If you want to hold on, you can, you can hold hold that and walk with it. You can put this away now, Mike, because nobody's going to see us. We're in the dark now. They can't see what the fuck we're doing. We can well, we can see them. They can't hold. see us. It's easier to hold. Yeah, but I, but you maybe you can film me for a second. Okay. okay. And I can put this up against my eye. Not in focus. It's uh, fairly out of focus. You reckon? Yeah. Go on, you stand there. You stand in front of it. Hang on. Oh, close focus, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because it's, it's got the iris wide open. Yeah. Okay, so, depends what we want, close or not but there we are right okay then you can do the introduction then well we're you're doing some night vision with extra mics and stuff for looking at owls and wildlife in the area yeah and it's the uh, first time with uh, my colleague Matthew mm. and he's got the high definition ultra 4k super duper absolutely fantastic camera and I've just got the cell phone for sound Hmm. Looks good though. I'm getting nice peeking off your eyes, so it must be in focus. So that's it. Yeah, right. Let's just turn this off for a minute then and go. Okay, we're in. About in focus here. Yeah. So. Basically, we've come up, do you, want, do you want to have a look? Basically, we've come up, and front front focus is there if you want it, yeah? Yeah. Just grab. Okay. You got me? Yeah. Yeah. Any focus needed? Yeah. Okay. Right, we've come up from the base. We managed to sneak through, pretending to be owl, owl and fox people, gabbing off about owls and bats and foxes. But now we're going to go through this little bit of the hedge here, and we're basically going to go walking onto what's actually a footpath. But the footpath is not easy to park near, so I, I parked near where we could get down. But I remember the other day when I came across here took me very close to where we need to be which is a fence to jump over and that fence once we get over it are you in focus yeah and that fence once we get over that fence we're in so let's do it thanks mate There's a bit of pink fringing there. You get rid of that sometimes when you um, do a, a, a not. There's a special clean mode, and it ultrasonically shakes the lens. Mm -hmm. and you get rid of that pinking.
complete darkness. Let's check the focus on Miles. Miles walking around in complete darkness. Honestly, you cannot see a hand in front of your face, and this camera is seeing, seeing stuff. So there's Miles walking around. Right. Now I'm going to turn the camera off because I need to use my night vision camera to walk. But Miles is boldly stepping carefully, using just his eyes. So he's a brave man, using just his eyes. I'll be with him in a second. Here's Miles. Get a focus on Mr. Miles. Here he is. So Miles has got his sound recording here for for the uh, <laughs> night vision shoot of uh, our owls and well, foxes. Phone, yes. It's got night vision, so it must be able to but see. It, but, it, but it can't see quite as well as this camera can. And what we can see up here is this is this is actually a footpath here. Let's try and let's try and get a bit of light on this. This is a footpath, and the footpath comes from there towards us, comes towards us, and then, then it comes up there. And what we've got is a fence that's been buggered by somebody, not me, a fence that's been fucked over and basically taken down. There it is. Very bright. Let's turn that down. Turn that down. There we are. A bit more natural now. Let's get the focus. As you can see, I just wanted proof. It wasn't us that took this fence down. This fence was like this. Okay, so there you can, yeah, you can see the fence is taken down. Okay, and we're just going to hop over that now because, you know, somebody else has actually done some damage to the fence, not us. So, let's go. Here now in this area, and we've got to get, got to get all the way up there, basically in the in the trees, in the trees, in the forest. Down in there is the bunker, so we've got to get through here. We've got through the worst bit. We've got some through some brambles, but then it should be easy. We're going along the edge of an old fence line, and um, we'll we'll carry on walking. So I'll film for a few seconds before we we go back to night mode because it's kind of hard. So okay, we'll give it a shot. Oops, it's a tube. Which is a plastic tube or a thing there. Why don't we just walk down the nature path down there? Because this, because this is the way, the way that the. Um into another area now where 
we can see we can see along the fence line okay so we came in from there we've crossed a few we've crossed a few fences and we're going to go this way because there's brambles there so we're going to walk that way and then we're going to come to another fence we're going to get through a gap in that fence by the way just to say there's a gap in the fence there yeah we didn't actually open that that was there gap in the fence you see the way it's just resting against the other thing that's not us just for proof that we're just walking around let's turn on my that's the perimeter fence of and turn on the steady cam. Right. Okay, so we're in the forest, right? We're in the forest now, and just make sure we focus up. Yeah, let's get a bit of brightness on. Yeah. So basically, we walked from we walked from up there, up that way, to where we are. Right. But I could see this thing reflecting all the time. Now you can't probably see this. see this. I can see it. I can see it with the night vision. It's a reflective thing. There it is. Let's focus it. Let's focus it. Yeah, there's definitely something flicking around here. Yeah. I think we're under surveillance. Right. So what's that? What's that? What is that? What's that thing? I think we're being scanned. to fall over. So. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's reflective. It's very it's very reflective and it's got a crosshair on it. If I look at it through my night vision, it shows up really bright. So it's like a, a like a marking point, or it's a marking point, or it's a laser point. That if you break the beam, if you break the beam, let me just get Miles on camera. If you break that beam, if you break that beam, they know you're in the area. Let's bring it into focus. Let's get some frame rate back. Here we go. Here we go. So, what do you what do you think of that thing there? Have you seen it yet? There's a perimeter fence and we're being scanned with something in this area. Stand where I am now. Stand where I am and look through my night vision. There's lots of Stand where I am and look through my night vision. I'm going to stand where I am and look through my night vision. Come here. Come here. Stand where I am and look through my night vision. Go on. It's a code. It's a crosshairs. It's yeah. very small, isn't it? It's tiny. It could be a security thing. It's a tiny, tiny thing, but it reflects infrared. It reflects infrared really well. It's a crosshair. So is this a security perimeter thing? Is it? I don't know. Is it a security perimeter thing? I have no f idea. But this little thing, this little thing, is very visible in my night vision. This is freaky as fuck. It's freaky as fuck. So did we trip something? I don't know because there's no beam. There's no beam, so maybe the beam is not activated at the moment. But where's the beam? Let's look for the beam. I'm gonna use my night vision. I'm gonna have to turn off now. I'm gonna look for the I'm gonna look for the beam to see if there is a beam. Okay? So I'm gonna turn off and I'll tell you my results later. I'm gonna look with the night vision. I'm gonna hunt to see if there's any beams around here that we're breaking. There's no cameras. Let's just change the frame rate. Get a bit more frame rate going. We're here now. We're here now. It looks pretty active to me in terms of the fence. Well, this is a new fence. This is from this point onwards it should be walkable. But as you can see, we, Christ, that was a fox. So luckily, were, werewolf kicking off. Werewolf kicking off. Right, okay, so as you can see, this is the new fence, it's very new, and there's a load of rubble and shit and crap and stuff that just stops you getting in from all the way up there to all the way over here. It's taking us about 20 minutes, 
You have 20 minutes to walk a very short distance in the dark. It, you can fall, trip, whatever. But now we're presented with a big fence. So what are we going to do with this fence? How the f*** are we going to deal with this? Right, let's have a look into that and we'll get back to you soon. So there's the fence. There's the fence. There's the locks. But hopefully there's going to be a way through that doesn't involve having to do anything illegal, which we don't do. Uh, you know. We just climb and we just walk. That's all we do. We don't break and we don't take. That's all we do. We're just looking. We're just looking. So there we go. Just looking. So right, let's go over the fence. What's that? This is me basically saying, I'm now going, I'm now going in on my own. I've just got a little bit of torchlight on you because it's very dark, but I'm going to, I'm going to go on my own now. Miles has left because he didn't want to climb over this fence. He didn't want to climb over this fence. Even though, even though I brought a ladder, Miles didn't want to do it, so never mind. He's lost my game. So even though I brought a ladder, he didn't want to do it. But never mind. It was really simple. But there we go. Let's go and explore. Right, let's turn on my stabilizer. My lens need to clean or something. Looks like it might be steamed up or something. Let me just check my lens. Right, let's turn turn the iris all the way up. Let's get some fucking light. Let's get some fucking light. Right, here we are. Let's get some focus. Right, I'm making good progress good progress to where I want to be. Let's get some focus. Right, there you go. So, basically, I gotta go down that way. Miles is way back up this, up this track and I'm now on the old discarded track that leads to the base so my battery's going I'm going to keep walking and hopefully we'll get to the base soon thanks watch this base I'm going to take you with me but I'm going to take you with me I'm going to have to use my night vision but this might be a bit blurry Just warning speed activated barriers maximum speed 10 rpm can you see that can you see that I'm going to give you a running commentary. I hope you can see this. I hope this looks steady. Probably doesn't, but... Let's do this. 
this. Okay, I've got my night vision on one eye, and I've got the steady cam on the other eye. I'm just walking downhill now into the base. I can't see any infrared. I can't see any infrared stuff. I'm actually walking down into the base. I can see. I can see. Um, I can see like an entrance way. There's something to the right. What's this? Gap in, it's just a gap in the fence. But here we are. It says R B one seven oh one Hosling. B1701 Hey hosts control B1701 HQSTC contracts branch west can you see this Let's go. Don't want to give too much of my presence away by turning lights on like that. But let's keep going. We're still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. Um, we've got 100% battery, so it's good. Let's just keep going. Just get my focus ready. Focus right. I can see a tall barrier. Uh, I can see gates. Gates. Right, okay. I'm coming up to an enclosed place that looks like it's got a closed gate. Looks like there's more light. There's lights up there. There's infrareds. Hang on. I need to go passive. I need to go passive because there's there's infrared lights. Infrared lights and cameras. Infrared lights and cameras in there. I can see some sort of light and camera system. So I better turn. Hang on. My viewfinder's light because I don't want to give away. Hide my viewfinder's light so I'm in full passive mode now. Right, okay. There's a camera up there. There's a camera up there is putting out some sort of infrared light, but it's pointing over here. It's pointing over there.
their security cameras. They can't work up them here. Let me just zoom back. So there we are. So that's that's the security cameras. Here's the fences. Here's the fences. So there's an inner security fence perimeter. And there's infrared out there. So I need to jump over here and I need to avoid. There's, there's lots of like, you know, Harris fencing and things like that, but I don't know why. There's tons of that stuff here. Yeah. scale this, there's a fucking barbed wire on the top of this, if I scale this, I could get injured. I wonder if there's an easy way in. I wonder if there's an easier way in. It's all pointing down into that area where the, the sheds are. So I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to try and see if there's an easy way to scale this because I'm just wasting battery. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to try and see if there's an easier way to scale this fence without causing noise. Vehicles. Don't know what they're for. Let's make the shutter speed a bit better because it's a bit more illuminated down there. There's actual light. Hang on, let's get the shutter speed sorted out. There you go, that's better. That's better, there's light down there. But I don't want to be discovered by the CCTV. CCTV is up there is a camera, up there pointing down, pointing down, pointing down to India. So that's where they're interested in, so I'm going to go and have a look around the edges first. Look, here's a bunker entrance. Here's a bunker entrance. Here's something.
my focus. I'm gonna try and risk it. I'm gonna risk a little bit of light. Just a touch, just to show you. That's a bunker entrance. Bunker entrance for sure. So, let's go back into slow mode. As we can see what we got. So, It's a, it's a school van. It says kids sport. It's a school van. School van. School van. Look. Look. I don't know where the camera's around here, is there? There's no other cameras. So I'm, I'm, I'm hidden now. I'm hidden from the camera so I can turn a bit of light on. But here we go. So, I think it, so far it looks like it might be a storage place for the school. Unless there's a cover for something else, but there's just lots of vehicles here. Let's keep walking. Walking, walking, walking. Old fridges, fridges and shit. Well, I'm pointing in the wrong direction, sorry. It's fridges, fridges and bullshit. Fridges and all sorts of shit. So, let's just get some light on it. Fridges. Concrete moving equipment steps steps up there steps steps to a gate going around so obviously the bunker and things are down there that's in that area, but in this area. Right, so this is a driveway that goes out to where. It's very bright down there. It's very bright. Definitely inside though. Yeah, it's a deer. It's a deer. I got it. 
It's walking off. It's a deer. the way out. There's the deer or a fox running across to the left. Right. You can see through my night vision. You can see through my night vision you can see everything. You can see my night vision. further out, I want to come back in. So let's go back in. in a second to let him know I'm okay. But there's definitely bunkers here. For sure. That's one of the bunker entrances. thing. Let's just do it. Good luck. Wish me good luck.
bunkers. Bunker fucking bunker bunkers. There we are, look. Bunkers. Bunker doors. Bunkers. Big fucking door handles. I got a light. Why the fuck's I got a light down there? What's so important about that? What the f oh, just looks like a coach lamp. It's a coach lamp. in and out. It's just a road in and out. Nothing special down here. It's a road in and out. Okay, so this this is we missed the best bit, so let's go back up and let's go have a look at the best bits. I'm just gonna text Miles to say everything's cool. Pause for a minute whilst I let Miles know I'm okay. Hang on, I'll put you on speaker because I'm going to record this. Right, how are you doing over there? I'm doing fine. 
when the helicopter almost flew over me. Yeah, yeah, no, he, I was looking at the helicopter, heard him coming miles away, looked at him with the infrared. He just flew a line which was straight over. He wasn't looking down. He was just he was just following a flight path. Don't worry about him. The only things I've seen up here so far are foxes and deer, which which sounded like people walking through the forest. And until I see, saw their two head their lights with my night vision, and that's about all I've seen. But I'm in the base. I had to scale a secondary fence with barbed wire on the top. That was f***ing scary, right? But I got on the other side, and now I'm in here. It's actually f***ing... It's a piece of piss. Now I'm in here. Hold on. So I'm, I'm just going to go and have a look. I've seen the bunkers. I've seen the bunkers. I've seen the, the locked bunker entrances. I filmed them. I'm going to go up now and film and take the piss now, because I don't care if I get chucked out now. Yeah? I just f***ing... I just need to go and f***ing film a bit more now. I can turn my f***ing torchlight on and everything, mate. Happy days. So fucking Enjoy. happy fucking days, as you said. I think we've got this one sussed, but I want to fucking hang on. Let me focus on the focus on my thing. Let me focus on this. There we go. I steamed up. My lens is steamed up. Oh my god! No wonder I wasn't getting a good image. My fucking lens was steamed up on my camera. Now it's clear. There we are. Well, it's all good. I could be back in about ooh half an hour maybe not longer but I'm just going to film a few things with my light on being really rude boy and then I'm going to come back okay yeah it came up on my thing as Aria Doors Hill it is yeah yeah that was what it was yeah but the bunkers the bunkers are being used now as storage by the school ah. I think I think so we'll see because there's lots of vehicles up here okay mate okay. alright mate we'll catch you in a minute cheers okay yeah, hold tight and uh, just relax and uh, don't fall asleep. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Bye. Okay, so that was my phone call with Miles. I focused up for infinity. Now I don't give a f because I think I've worked out what this place is. And if I get chucked out now, I've got the footage. They can f right off. So now I'm going to be a rude boy now. I'm just going to walk right around exactly where I want to. And if the security come and kick me out, they'll just be giving me a quicker lift back to my car. So f*** them. DJBuckham.com It's not military, I don't think. I think we're alright. It's not dodgy, because I'd have been, I'd have been pounced on by now. If this was storing anything f***ing really dodgy, I'd have been pounced on because there would have been f***ing security, SAS style. So, it's all good. The more light I use and the more camera I film with, the better off I am. Right, here we go. <sighs> Hoodie off. Torchlight on. Let's get some f***ing... That's too light, it's too bright, hang on. Let's get a little bit of torchlight on. Here we go. Come on, security, come and get me. Come on, security guards, come and get me now. The fuckers. Come and get me now. Come and get me now. Come and get me now. Come and get me now, motherfuckers. Right, this is the driveway down. I reckon this is a driveway into underground bunkers. Look at these lights. Like green LEDs. Look at them. Why aren't they lit up? Why don't they come to light? Why aren't they lit up? They just got green LEDs in them. Why aren't they illuminated? Oh look, there's a bunker entrance. Look, there's a bunker entrance. Look at that. A bunker entrance there. Look at this. Look at this rude boy. Rude boy. Open the, open the gate. Open the gate. No locks on it. Open the gate. Walk in. Walk in. What have we got? Bunker. Bunker. Rude boy bunker. With a f***ing call button. Uh, fucking call. Cool. I should put my fucking wide angle lens on now because I'm just filming wide, so hang on a minute, I'll come back in a sec with a wide on. I 
nearly run out of battery here. Yeah? Oh dear. Let's go and charge the battery as well. Okay. We are back on full 100% battery charge now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. Now I've got the wide angle lens on. It means I don't have to f around with the focusing so much. I can turn this puppy down like this. I can turn this light up. And I can just. I can have it off now. So basically. Here we go. So there's the door. Bunker entrance. Can we? Bunker entrance is fucking locked. What about this one? Might be open. Now this one's locked. So that one's locked. That one's open. So that one's that one locked. That one's locked. That one's open. But this one's locked from the inside. So let's go and have a look somewhere else. Let's be a road boy. Light and close the gate after ourselves. Nobody knows we've been in here, hopefully. Let's have a look what's around here. What's around here? Look, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers all over the place. Look at all, how many fire extinguishers are in here. Fire extinguisher central. Okay, so this is a fire extinguisher room full of fire extinguishing bollocks. So, not interested in that. What's it say? Remote indicator. Right, so let's um, turn the light off. stupid people beyond this point. Yeah, all right then. So there's, there's a thing, big building, looking, looking down the corridor. You see up there? Can you see? Can you see? Up there. I can see a big long corridor with lights on at the end. It's just being used for storage. a big old warehouse building. Oh look, the lights are coming on now. I can actually bother to sense me. Oh look. Oh look, very nice. Common room. The lights are coming on. The lights are coming on. You're not going to come on unless the light. Good. Lights come on. Let's get all the lights on. What's in here? I don't know. What's in there then? Just storage rooms. Storage rooms. If I can have a look. Sort of electrical point up there. Oh, it's a light. It's a light. So let's have a look. Light, come on. Come on, light. Thank you. Back door. Back door for some sort of bunker. Probably not open. Wouldn't that be nice if that was open? Never mind. Never mind. Let's get this light on. 
There you go. Lights on. Lights on, but nobody home. F it. So here we go now. Around this side. Lights on. Lights on. Let's have a look in here. What's in here? actually using it as like um, part of the school or something it's, it's a workshop or maybe maybe it's something to do with um, you know, the electrical electrical people that, that look after the school maybe it's all their spare parts and stuff so. so there we go okay this then a big old air breather what's this big electrical air breather or something what's this an air plants something to do with air ventilation systems okay oh god I'm not looking forward to the climb back over that fence all the, all the way for this all the way for this what a piss take See what's in all the rooms. Look, there's even ladders here, look. That would have made it easy for me to get over the fucking fence. In fact, I might borrow one of those and get over the fucking fence with that because I don't want to fucking hurt myself again. We'll leave the fucking ladder there. Look, pressure washers. Pressure washers. I can use the ladder and I'll just leave it up there. So this is Wickham Abbey School. Wickham Abbey School, nice. Estates Department. I don't think the door, the door won't be open. It says workshop, workshop. Right, okay, there's a doorbell. No, it's locked, there's a doorbell there. Right, nobody answering the door. What's in these rooms? Look, look, bed, bedding, bedding, mattresses, mattresses, fans. Right, okay, cool. Surprised they haven't come to get me. Their fucking security here is shit. Fucking security at this place is absolutely rubbish. Look at all the stuff they got just lying around, man. Loads of expensive stuff just lying around. Fucking. I guess they don't expect anybody to come in here. Right, so this is a different bunker entrance. This one's got a lock on it though. Look, this one, this lock, this one's got a lock. This bunker entrance, this one's locked, so this must be the way in. So this one's locked. It's got a, an Abbas, an Abbas lock on it. Abbas lock. And that is a bunker entrance. You can see up there. It's a bunker chain building and that's a bunker entrance so cobwebs cobwebs and beyond that bunker entrance so there's a couple of um, so this one's locked the inner one's locked and probably the, the the big blast doors probably aren't locked because it's the only way in so they couldn't lock those so anyway yeah cool Right, steps. Right, well we've we've turned on all the lights we can. Why don't we just go up, be a bit stealthy, because we're getting into line with the security cameras again. So let's go full iris open. Yeah, that's open. Full iris open. Is there anywhere I'm missing? That's what I'm wondering. Anywhere I'm missing. Oh, thank you. The lights have just come on. The lights have just come on. So, it doesn't look like you drive into the ground as I thought originally, but you can definitely walk into the ground. See, down there, you walk into a bunker that's underneath here, it's in that direction. 
but you don't drive in. I thought these vehicles were all driving in because it looked like that. That building there looked suspiciously to me like as if it was a slope shaft into the ground. But oh well, you know, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. So, security here is shit. Even though they got that f***ing thing up there. Infrared. I ain't got a f***ing clue what they're doing. They got a camera up there somewhere. There's a camera up there, beyond. Can't see us now, but look at this big, big blast doors here. Look at these f***ers. Look, quality. Can't, can't get that in the B and Q. So hang on. So let me just see if I got this at focus point right. That's about magic focus. Let's turn the iris down a little bit. Get some fucking extra extra shit, but there we go. We are. So yeah, there's some big doors here. I don't know how him where these go to. But that's iris down. But as you can see, there's no way they can be opened. It's got a big lock on it. Can you see round? Oh my god, can we see in there? Oh yeah, you can see in there, look. See around the corner, they can actually see in. There's some stuff stored in there. It might just be a vehicle store or something like that, you know? Vehicle stores. Some stuff stored in there. Oh well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And there's a couple of them, so I reckon those are just vehicle stores. Secure vehicle stores. For like fire vehicles or some other shit. So, yeah. Well. So there's no alarms, just there's lots of f***ing security lights that come on. And then, after that, after that, what else have we got? And you've got f***ing security cameras up here that are shit. There we are, look. Shitty security cameras, what a f***ing joke. What's this, what's this concrete shit up here for? Another escape, escape thing? Let's have Look. Let's have a little look. Whoops. Air breather. Air breathers. So that's the air breather system. So it comes out here. So from all the way over there to here, underground, big, big breathers. So whew. interesting. Let's just go and have a piss take again. Take the piss. So, here we go, we're right under the security camera now. Shining a big light on the security camera. Still nobody's come to get us. Still nobody's come to get us, look. Shine a light right at the fucker. Nope, not interested. What's over here? What's over here? What's over here? Well, that's a fence. This is just an old, like a little, like a little shed for maybe an old shed. Let's see if I can see in through the side. See what's in here. What's in here then? If I didn't know better, I'd say this was some sort of like water thing. Hang on. It's really hard to see, but it's like a circular, it's like a circular thing 
of concrete. It's like a water tower or something. Water, maybe. But, who knows? Who knows? Oh well. Whoever does the security for this place should be shot at dawn. And that's the bastard fence I had to climb over. Look at this. It's not easy. I'm going to do it with a light later on, but this is not f***ing easy. That was not easy to climb over on my own in the dark. I didn't have the torch on. I balanced on the top of that. F***ing in the dark. In the dark, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you very much. I think we've done all we can do. I need to climb out of here. I might just put a in step ladder up there to make it easier for myself because why the f should I make my life hard? Let's take the piss. I'm gonna go and use the step ladder. F it. Let's go and get one. Not hurting anybody, is it? Borrowing a step ladder. Thank you very much. I'll f turn back on in a minute. Oh, something I missed up here. This estate offices thing. It's estate offices. It looks like there's an emergency escape shaft to the left. Like a little door. It's probably an emergency escape shaft. And yeah, we haven't been down here either. And there's antennas on the top of that. Antennas and a door. And I wonder, oh, look, somebody's just stuck a stuck in twig through here. So if I open this, open this and open this, can have a look inside. Oh no, it's just a plant room. It's just a plant room. Nothing exciting. And they've got an electrical heater to keep the plant room alive and it's not plugged in, so they obviously don't care much about their plant room. But look, there is some heat in here, but they obviously don't care about the win winter heat or the night heat because they're not in plugging it in to keep this warm. This room is not kept warm. Oh, poor, poor room. This will lock up then. Oh dear. Better close it up, it might get cold. It might get cold for poor plant room. Where's that twig? Where's the twig? Oh, for, oh, here it is. Here's a twig. Look, put the twig back in so they can not say that I've been naughty. Look, twigs back in. Replace everything as we find it. All right, what are we going here then? What are we going here? Here we are, look. Computers. Offices, computers. God, imagine you'd got shot here yeah, when this was like, you know, NATO command headquarters. That's a bit insecure. That could easily be done. It could easily be done, but I won't do that because that would be very naughty. They're highly insecure. Is this actually locked? That's all they've got is one of these, and I could just put a card or something down there and get in really easy. I could get in there. Oh my god. Security here is atrocious. Right, what's this then? Big air filter. Big air filter equipment. Right. Another office. Another office. And files and shit like that, you know. But, oh god, they've got loads of equipment in here and it's... You know, now security is terrible. Look, there's a movement sensor up there. Hello, hello, movement sensor. That's just to turn the light on. I bet you it's not to warn them that anybody's here. It's just to turn the light on. Nobody's coming to stop me. Oh, hang on, let's go and get a ladder. Let's go and get a ladder and get the out here because this is getting boring now. I think I've pretty much covered it all. So let me just, um, let me just fucking cover this up. War. War. So, okay. Let's go and get a ladder. Borrow a ladder. Uh, where's all these ladders? ladder. So that's, um, yeah, so there's bunker entrances here again. Come down. 
bunker entrance here. Bunker entrance. Let's go and borrow ourselves a really long ladder which we're up behind the sides over there. And I'm going to make my life a lot easier getting back out. They'll just have to put the ladder back themselves. Sorry boys, I've just got to borrow a ladder. I ain't cutting my hand open on that fence if I don't have to. Okay. All right. All right, mate. You got me. Stay there. It's all right, mate. Stay where you are now. Stay there. It's all right, mate. Walking towards me, otherwise the dog is coming. Stay there. Do not move. I haven't got any weapon. I haven't got anything on me. Yes. Right, you can turn your camera off, please. No. I need that for evidence. I'm just, I'm just looking at the bunkers, mate. Sorry? I'm just bunker, bunker looking. Are you on your own? Stay there. Watch it. My mate, my mate. Stay there. All right. Stay there. Turn All right. your camera off, please. Okay. I'll turn away. I'll turn away from you. I won't film you. All right, you can turn your camera off, please. I don't want to. I don't want to. I will f land. Yep. Alright, the police are on their way. Good, good, because I'd rather meet the police. Alright. Police but are on their way. My mate's on the other side of the fence. My mate's on the other side of the fence. Well, he wants to stay where he is. Yep. Whereabouts is he? I'll tell you if you if if we calm down a bit, yeah? If we calm down, I'll tell you I'll tell you what's going on. Walk towards me, walk towards me. It's alright, mate, I'm, I'm no threat to you. I'm no threat no, to you. It's, it's four o'clock in the morning. You're walking around a, a girls' school. I've got. Is it All a good? Right, I didn't even know. To, the, the this is night. This is night. This is night vision equipment, right? Yes. This is steady cam. Yeah. Steady cam equipment yeah. for doing nice photography. Yeah. I'm not filming you. I'm filming up right. there. Okay. I basically am walking around with the light on right, on my this torch. Right. private property. You have broken in. I climbed over the fence. I didn't right. actually break in. Just climbed over the fence. So I didn't damage anything, and I, every time, every time I clo climbed over a fence, I said, "Look." Where, whereabouts is your? Yeah. Oh, yeah please, please. I actually, I actually documented myself on film, saying, yeah. "I'm not doing anything like right. damaging anything here." Oh, yeah. Can I have uh, police assistance to High Wick, um, Wickham Abbey School, please? There we are, please. All right, all right. I'll sit down. Look, I'll sit down. Wickham Abbey School. Oh, no problem, mate. I'll just yeah. film over there. Film over there. I just don't uh, want you setting your dog on me, alright? I've just uh, caught someone break, uh, that's come over the fence and actually into the bunker. So. Well, not into the bunker. They are trespassing. It's on the outside of the bunker. Uh, not I can see at the moment. Obviously, I've got the male stand, sat in front of me. With it? Yeah. It is in the school grounds, yes. Yep. He's also got a camera and he is filming. Yep. Sit. Sit. I'm a security dog handler for the site. Anyway, my name's Matt, all right? Hey, it's Ben. Cheers, mate. All right, whereabouts is your friend, buddy? He's way over that way. By way the, over that way? As by, long as by... not on the grounds? No, no. He didn't want to come in. He bottled it. All right. So I've done this all on my own, which is charming, isn't it? Because he didn't want to come with me. Well, like I said, you are, you are, <laughs> you are trespassing at the moment. Yeah, I just wanted to get some footage of the bunkers, mate. There's nothing here, buddy. 
Well, I hoped it would be open, but there's obviously locks on it, and I haven't touched the locks, and you can go and check. I haven't touched the locks. I haven't got any gear on me to even mm -hmm. do that, yeah? So I'm just filming the outside, no. and, I'm, and I'm just filming. No. I, I went over it the other day with my drone. Uh, I believe they've come in over a fence of some sort, but obviously most of our fences has been replaced, so yeah. without going and checking the perimeter, I won't be able to uh, obviously confirm or deny whether or not it's actually been broken. But obviously he is trespassing at the moment. I'll leave, I'll leave, you know, I've, I've got no problem with leaving. And if you want to check everything is still intact, and I'll even show you my footage of what I've been doing. Well, I need someone here with me at the moment, buddy. Yeah, so just wait a yeah that's all right. Police, yeah, okay? yeah, no worries. Thank you. I mean, you know, you're welcome to have a look at the footage, because I actually say, look, I'm turning my light on, I'm walking around, I'm switching all these lights on, I don't care, right? I'm just, I'm just here for the footage, that's all I'm here for. And you can see me and hear me saying that on the, on the camera, you know? So I, I'm, I'm quite glad you came out, actually, because when I came in, I came in in the dark with my night vision, mm -hmm. right? And I avo avoided that up there because I was wondering whether this was a military base still. No, it's not. Yeah. It's an all-girls school, buddy. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. So you've got a camera? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not near there. Yeah, you can have a look at the footage. I'm not interested in girls. So How far up is your friend? I'm actually, I'm actually gay, if that helps as well, so I'm not interested in girls, mate. <laughs> I'm actually a fully qualified gay person, so yeah, definitely, British. definitely not interested in gay in uh, girls. Yes. Forties to fifties. Yeah, forty-seven. Matthew Williams, yeah, full name. Probably going to go with five nine to six foot and of medium build. Do you want my full name? Uh, he is bold. He is wearing a black jacket with, funny enough, uh, orange camouflage trousers. And it says Sea Shepherd on the jacket. No, he's giving me his name as 47 at the moment. Do you want, do you want my name? Yeah, what is your name? What is your name? Matthew. Matthew name? is the first name. Matthew. Middle name is Parry, spelled Papa... Midlands. Papa Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee, Papa Parry. Alpha. Sorry, say that again? Papa Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. Papa Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. Parry is my middle name. Williams is the surname. And his surname is Williams. My date of birth. Do you want my date of birth? Hang on. Let me get my phone. I'm going to ring my mate and tell him that I'm going to be out. Date of birth, please. 13th of the 7th, 71. 13th of the 7th, 1971. Uh, That's the one. Just get my lens caps out here. Yeah. Is it alright if I ring my weight? You could, you could have stood, stood buddy, it's, you know what I mean? Obviously, uh, just don't come towards obviously myself. Oh, I'm not going to come towards you. Okay. I'll just tell him that I'll be out in a bit. There is two. I'm currently looking around the outside of the uh, fence line at the moment, obviously trying to watch this mail as well. Um, I have got a colleague en route as well. Yeah. Um, but he's saying his friend's outside the actual fencing. But without going through the woods at the moment myself with the dog, I won't be able to uh, confirm whether he's actually on the school grounds. Hey, mate. Hello. Hi, yeah. Are you still on the outside of the fence? Yes. Yeah. Well, I've been picked up by the security because I just got bored, so I ended up turning my lights on and just walking around, being really gregarious. So the security actually finally came out. <laughs> So they, they've called the police, so they've called the police, know. but um, we we'll... Because he switched his torches on, but he, little does he know that the cameras are all night vision. Yeah, but I've been in here for how long? How long do you know I've been in here for? How long do you think I've been in here for, mate? Uh, he's come in to look at the World War II bunker, which unfortunately there's not actually anything here, but there's obviously a few dwellings, but that's it. Yeah, it's all been shut up at the moment, yeah. So, anyway, Miles, they're going to probably be hand me over to the police and then I'll be um, on my way. I might even get a lift back up to where you are. If I were you, I'd make your way back up to the car because you're on the outside of the fence, so you the might... Vehicle's in here. Is, he, is he at Dawes Hill by any chance? Yeah. He is. The new is estate. The Taylor Winfrey site, is it? Yeah, it's, it's the new estate. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that a bit later on. Yeah. I'll just, let, I'll just let him go back. You go back. You go back, right? You go back to where we were, and I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can get him to give me a lift back to where we, where I was. Okay.
to save time. So you just go and do what you've got to do. They don't know where you are. So you just go and get yourself easily and nicely back to where we were. And I'll get a free free lift over to the vehicle, hopefully. Okay? Okay. All right. Take it easy, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. The police should know where that is anyway. Yeah. I'm not sure whether or not they've got the code to the gates. There we are. Sorry, I'll turn my torch off because it's blinding you. There we go, I'll turn it down. Oh, fucking hell. How much battery have I got left? I might as well turn the f***er off, actually, because I'm going to... I've got 61%. How much time have I got left? I've got 52 minutes. Oh, well, I could leave it going. It's just nice to see that you're not aggressive. That's nice. And um, I'm glad you haven't set the dog on me, so thank you very much for that. I've had worse. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to be as polite and, uh, uh, you know, not... At the end of the day, buddy, this is an all-girls school, so you rec record what you want on there, and you can say that I've been as nice as anything to you, but you're still on an all-girls school site. Yeah, but I'm a gay man, so I don't, I don't see how that counts. Are you prepared to give you the details of the vehicle you've come in? Y yeah. You are? Yeah, you but I will to... Now, please. No, I'll give them to the police. Well, the police are asking for them now over the phone. Well, I'll, I'll give them when they take me up there. Right, he's refusing at the moment, obviously, until you guys come in. So. I mean, I'll, I'll happily come to the exit with you, and I will leave, because I, I haven't committed any criminal acts. Okay, I can get my colleague to go to that area now. Yeah, um, but you won't know which vehicle it is. You won't know which vehicle it is. I mean... I have got the dog... I mean... I have got the dog with... I'm more than happy to, you know, exit the site. Yeah, be on the phone, phone at, unfortunately, at the moment. So yeah. I'll be hanging up, hanging up with you guys. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, I'm more than happy to leave the site because I haven't no, committed no, just, uh, any on how long the units are be. criminal acts or anything. I've, I've, oh, the only thing I've done is trespass, which is not criminal. So. I don't think they'll want to come out, the police, because... Oh, be right, and obviously they've got the codes in it, yeah. yeah. you haven't actually told them I've done anything criminal. Right, thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. You haven't actually told them I've done anything criminal so far, so I think they're going to say it's just trespass, let him go. So if you want to check that I've not gone in anywhere, right, then... I will once, obviously, the police have turned up. OK, the police, or have you got another... Once, another... once the police turn up, buddy, then I will, we will be doing a full check of the site. OK, have see you... See whether or not you've broken in anywhere. Oh, I haven't, um, yeah. Are you anywhere in North Doors Hill, mate? Yeah, can you go to the Taylor Winfrey site? Yeah, there's a there's another gentleman uh, going to be leaving in the vehicle so he will uh, be stopped as well. All right, police are on their way there as well. All right, dude, I'm just waiting for him to turn up for the bunker. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. So, I mean, you know, re realistically, you could do this check with your mate. Yeah, your other security guard friend could do this check, and you could save the police some time. But I'm quite happy for you to waste the police time if you want to bring them up. Quite happy to have the police come out at the moment. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, you know, they know me. They know me because I've done this many times before. So I'm, yeah, I'm, so I'm on. You know full well that you shouldn't be in here. Obviously, the fact that it is an all-girls school. Well, that that that's irrelevant. No, it's the not fact irrelevant. It's an all-girls school. Hence, the reason why we're here protecting the site at night. I'm not interested in girls' schools. I'm interested in bunkers. Right. Yeah. So anyway, um, back to the point is there's nothing actually been broken into. Um, you can have a look at my footage and I will show you that I've actually set, you know, I've on purpose set off all your lights and everything and done it on purpose and said, you know, I've come in here. How long do you think I've been in here for? Uh, probably a about 10, 15 minutes. No, I've been in here for about an hour and a half, yeah. right? Okay, the footage will show you that because there's a timestamp on it. I've been in, an, in here with my night vision. You didn't know I was here. That camera points in that direction, right, with light, infrared light going that direction, and I was able to walk around the edge of it, and you didn't see me. I got down there, filmed everything in the dark, and once I filmed it in the dark, I was happy I'd got everything. I said, well, I we might as well fucking turn the lights on now. You're right. So, you know what I mean? I'm not, I've not got nothing to hide, I basically, you know, wanted to... Let's just get this going down. I just wanted to, um, you know, film the stuff. The bunkers, so, you know. Hello. But... Yeah, speaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I can escort him towards... Well, ideally... It's Rather better for the police to obviously come up to the area we're in now. But your mate could do it and save the police the time. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, obviously if they, if they drive straight through the school road itself, all right, they, uh, oh. you can give them my direct number and they can directly call me if you like. Okay, well I get a nice police escort then, that's, that's nice. It's alright, I'm just moving, my arse is getting tired. My, my arse is getting tired, that's all, sorry mate. Anyway, yeah, just to make sure there's no shenanigans, we just record to make sure that we're both behaving ourselves. And then uh, nothing bad can happen to either of us. <laughs> I've had a few police escorts out. Fish guard, 20 years ago, when I worked for Customs and Excise. I'm a, I was a former Customs and Excise officer, believe it or not. Now, you wouldn't have thought that, would you? <laughs> Based in Cardiff. So, yeah, I've had an interesting interesting few years since I left the uh, left the job and started getting interested in looking at bunkers yeah but uh, yeah the police won't have us too long anyway you know they'll just let us go once they can establish there's nothing nothing wrong with any of your uh, buildings and nothing's been gone into you've got some bad security here though I did actually notice a few things I could tell you to beef up your security if you wanted do you want some advice Okay, all right then. Because somebody's gonna somebody's gonna get in with with a with a number lock you got. You know that number lock thing, Pun little number tick 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 tick. That's the only security you got on that door up there. And when I walked up, I thought, "Hell, is that it?" Because anyone can just put a card behind that and get in. So yeah, crazy. But as I said on film, they want to beef up their security. It's on film. I actually says this. I says this. So yeah. Oh well. Yeah. There's a couple of places like our Air Rudd Low Manor where I've been doing research for, for a few years and uh, basically we've been jumping over the fences there and getting away with filming a few things and the security services have, been, have checked me out and, you know, asked everyone who knows me, is he okay, does he have any terrorist connections, you know, what's his political affiliations and all that. They've sent people out to see the lectures I do because I do lectures on this sort of stuff, you know. And they say, uh, well, he's a pain in the ass, but actually he's not actually doing any harm. And my policy on it is, if I can get into your base, and this is real military bases, not somewhere like this, if I can get in, mooch around and get back out, then you need to beef up your security. And I think they went, he's got a point there, hasn't he? Yeah, so I'm quite well known, don't worry. So yeah. I have a bit of fun with it, but I don't want to get shot, so I don't do many of the military bases anymore. I just do stuff like this. So, yeah. There we are. So you've been a security guard long? I have, yes. Yeah? <laughs> How long you had your dog? A while now. A couple of years? Yeah. Yeah. I got a Malamute at home. Yeah. Yeah, he's been looked after. Well, she's been looked after by my mate tonight, so, yeah. How much battery have we got? 49%. I'm going to turn him off for a bit. I'll turn him back on when the police come. Cause Not going to take me away? Well, oh, sorry. That's Hang on. Okay. Point this down. What's your name? Matthew Williams. Matthew, what are you doing here, Matthew? I like to film bunkers. I've got a YouTube channel called The Secret Vault. Okay. And I film. I, do, I, I, I won't film you. I'll film away because I know it's impolite to film without being. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, you know we got the voices on you. Yeah? Anyway, I was filming him just for my safety. I turned it off because I realised he was being all right in the end. Okay. But I got a mate who bottled it. He didn't want to jump over the fence. Right. And, and, and I jumped over in the dark because I'm a bit of a fucking beast, but yeah, I mean that was a bit of a fence there, that bloody uh, barbed wire. Right, one. okay, and what's your mate called? Um, Miles. Miles? Yeah. Where's he now? He's outside and he's he's worked his way back to my car. Is it Miles Johnston? Yes. Right, okay. Oh, cool. You know him? How yeah, you know? we're with him at the We've moment. Oh, you've got him, cool. Yeah. Alright, okay. The, so, the, the, concern is, the concern is this. Yeah. This is a school. Right. 
there are residents in. Yeah. Okay. And they've got big fences around it, I know, yeah. They do have big fences around it, because obviously they have, it's an all-girls school. Right, okay. All right, yeah, so yeah. you can see where the concern lies. Well, we've got okay. we've got schools like Marlborough and Dauncey's near me, and they ain't yeah. got fences like this around them. It's the, obviously, it's the way the school runs. Their choice, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. their choice. But okay, I'm, but I'm actually gay, right? So I, so he, he suggested that I was mm. here because I might be filming girls. This mm. is not girls, this is bunkers. Right. No, I'm, no. I'm, a, I'm a well established gay person. I'm not interested in girls. That's, 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 that's fine. That's, that's fine. But obviously, okay. he's taking your word on that, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. obviously, the main thing is that number one, it's private property. Yeah. I know the reason why we're here because we get people coming in all the time. You've had more especially people during, than me. Right. Especially okay. during the summer months. They come in here, teenagers come in here because they hear about the bunker, they want to go see it, they want to have a look at it. And then we get all this confusion and then people come up. All right, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm sorry to have triggered you, but... but obviously, at the end yeah. of the day, their main concern is that they have females here. Yeah. It's n late at night, yeah. early hours of the morning. You're here with a camera. They yeah. don't know you. You yeah. don't know them. Yeah. And their concern is they're obviously the girls. Yeah, yeah. All that's right. absolutely so fine. That's yeah. I understand, right. yeah. Do you, did you video your footage you've got? Yes. Could you show that to me so I can turn around and say to them categorically, you haven't yeah. viewed anything other than the bunker? Yeah, yeah, I, could, I can go through it all with you. And no, in fact, fine. once I, I said to him, how long do you think I've been here? And he said, oh, about 10 minutes. I said, no, an hour and a half. Yeah. Right, I said, the time code will show you I've been here for an yeah. hour and a half. But using the night vision, yeah. I was able to skirt around his one security camera up there, yeah. skirt around the edge, come down, film everything in the dark using night vision, because yeah. this thing can see in the dark. It's yeah. quite impressive bit of kit, this. Yeah, it can see in the dark. But this can see in the dark as well, right? But this is colour night vision. Mm -hmm. And this is the latest stuff the BBC um, Natural History Unit in Bristol use this stuff to film animals at night but without mm -hmm. having to put lights on them. Okay. This is quality kit, yeah? Steady cam, yeah? yeah? So even if you fall over and make yourself look like an idiot, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah? The footage will be good. Oh, it's good footage, mate. It's good footage, yeah? So this is, I'm, I'm a professional about what I do. You know, I've got a, the YouTube channel is called The Secret Vault. Mm -hmm. I look at bunkers. RAF Redlow Manor know me very well in, in Corsham. They've got underground bunkers there. They've, I've, been, I've been checked out by the security services because they wanted to know was I a security threat. Eventually, they've left me alone. Mm. You know, they've said like they even sent me a Christmas card once from Redlow Manor, which takes the piss, isn't it? Even though I jumped over their fences, they sent me a Christmas card from Redlow Manor. <laughs> yeah, you know. So they, they're having a laugh at me. Yeah. yeah, you know. And it's like so. Okay. Um, I used to work for Customs and Excise. Mm. I was a Customs and Excise officer 20 years ago. But now yeah. I do some other stuff. So there you go, YouTube. You've seen the video now. And maybe you understand a little bit about the controversy. You know, you saw me, how long I was there. I was there for hours messing around before I decided to bring the security out, uh, see if they existed. And uh, yeah, you know, the guy was kind of stressy at first, um, kind of stressy shouting at me, you know, turn my camera off and all this sort of malarkey. Um, really didn't, he really wasn't chatty. You know, he kind of like did kind of say he'd call, the police were on their way, but then he called the police, which was kind of funny. <laughs> you know? So uh, yeah. But um, yeah, he, he didn't he didn't believe that we'd been in there that long, and uh, he's now going to see the video, so he'll realise we were in there for quite a period of time. And yeah, it does kind of show up the security of the place, and I'm sure they're going to find it embarrassing. Um, but anyway, the problem is that I've been accused of blackmail now, um, when you can see from the video that kind of their security is pretty bad uh, they they are getting the police called out a lot the police officer you heard him say to me himself you heard it with his own words police officer said that you know the kids are always coming down there in the summer and they're always getting called out you know to deal with it so the security are not really dealing with this very well so you know now that you've watched it all can you understand why I was maybe a bit reticent about putting it out. It's great for you. I mean, you, you're going to enjoy it. I mean, I kind of find it comical and funny and that I know that you people, people would enjoy it, but I know what you'd enjoy more would be to actually see the bunker. 
and I would have been prepared to forego sticking that video out, you know, and let's face it, right? These videos always go out, yeah? They always go out. But in this instance, I thought maybe there is a chance that we can kind of, you know, suggest to these people that they allow us in the bunker, which they have done before to other people. So what is the big, what's the big, the big deal here? You know, it's kind of like, so, and am I, you know, when I'm, when I'm being told I'm, I'm blackmailing somebody, I mean, what, like for money? Am I wanting money? No. What am I blackmailing them for? Oh, I'm going to release the video if you don't let us in the bunker. The video would be released whether or not we went in the bunker, right? That would happen by default, okay? So there's nothing different is going to happen, right, by us going in the bunker, apart from maybe a different video would be going out, which would have been better for you guys. So, so you know, by default, this video would have gone out and embarrassed you. If you maybe would have thought about it and let us do something, go in the bunker, like you've let other people go in the bunker before us, you've done that, yeah? So, you know, and there's no money, we're not demanding money or anything like that, you know, we're kind of like, just let us in the f bunker, <laughs> you know? Yeah, is that is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask in order to avoid a lot of embarrassment? Well, clearly it is. So, hey, they don't want to. They don't want to talk. They don't want to talk. They just want to get n nasty. So, there you go. The video's out. Now I'm expecting a knock on the door from the police because you know what Johnny Five O can sometimes be like. So uh, they're going to be looking for any possible reason they can to say, yeah, it's a blackmail, it's a blackmail, he's a blackmailer, he's a terrible, horrible blackmailer, yeah, and then try and take it to court, unless they think they haven't got enough evidence, which usually is the case. But they will probably come and arrest me to get me in so I can go no comment, no comment, no comment, because they like to kind of do that shit so yeah i'm waiting for that i'm waiting for that so anyway thanks very much for watching and let us know in the comments below whether or not you think uh this is warranting charges of blackmail or whether you think this is kind of silly but there we go thanks very much for watching